Marvel Cublets. Welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot. This weekend, I was involved, let's see, immersed, gorging myself on Civil War. Now, you know, if you're a geek, or if you happen to have a TV, or any kind of social media, or any kind of media, that Captain America 3 just came out, Civil War. Now, this movie can be called by many titles. It can be called Iron Man 4. It can be called Avengers 3. It can be called Captain America 3. It can be called Spider-Man 0 0.5. Um, it can be called Black Panther 0 0.5. Because not only does this take a handful of our existing Marvel superheroes, introduces two more superheroes. Also, it has a master ability to take several different Marvel storylines in the comics and weave them together so beautifully that it just astounded me. We're taking a ton of Marvel history, putting it all together, and it has a possibility to become a train wreck. And that's what I was expecting, actually, because, I mean, I was really, really hoping that this was going to be amazing. But I was like, okay, this has the possibility to go uh, down the road of Batman versus Superman because, again, Batman versus Superman crammed a whole bunch of stuff into a movie and you're like, what the hell after that? But this one is kind of like uh, Marvel giving a middle finger to DC. It's like, we're going to take a ton of stuff from what we've already established in our universe. We're going to take that and we're going to take the storyline that's very, very loosely based upon the Civil War comic line that was involving Captain America and Iron Man versus each other. That's basically the main thing. But the whole entire gist of this movie... Now, a spoiler alert, um, if you haven't seen this movie, you may not want to watch this vlog or stop right now and just know that I love it! Um, and then come back and watch it after you've already seen the movie. But what we have is Iron Man versus ba uh, Captain America. I almost said Batman. <laughs> and... We have basically watched Tony Stark mentally break down for about four movies now, three or four, ever since he was involved in Avengers 1 when he almost died and realized how big this actually is, that he's not just a uh, flamboyant rich guy running around thinking that he's doing good and just a way to stroke his own ego. You have Captain America, who's established and their relationship of Iron Man versus Superman, or Superman, Jesus, I did it again. <laughs> it's very hard to keep these all these characters straight, even though I know more Marvel than I do DC. But they've established Iron Man versus Captain America really pretty much since they were introduced to each other. They have such different ideologies when it comes to superheroing and what their responsibilities are. Captain America believes in the in the freedom of choice, whereas Iron Man has now gone to, we are too big to be let loose. And the UN happens to agree with old Tony Stark. They step in and they create this document based upon Avengers 2. Sarkovia? I think it's Sarkovia. I screw up where it actually is. The Sarkovia like manifest that they've created basically states that the Avengers are out of control. All of these things that have evolved, even though the Avengers reacted to the situation, they didn't kind of create it except Tony Stark, shockingly created Ultron, which caused the whole Sarkovia thing. But you have them and it starts out with an oops of types that involves Captain America and Scarlet Witch. They are on a mission to stop Crossbones, who came from Captain America 2, Winter Soldier, which was a beautiful movie. I loved that movie so much. Well, they happen to get involved with a mishap with Crossbones. That causes a huge destruction, which makes the UN put into effect their plans that the Avengers need to be controlled. Tony Stark agrees with them. Half the Avengers side with Tony Stark. The other half don't. They, they agree with Captain America. The masterful thing about this movie is you have so many moving parts and bringing in other characters from other movies, such as Ant-Man, and introducing new characters like Spider-Man and Black Panther, that you're like, okay, there's no way that these guys are going to get any screen time. But they do. Within, like, just the introduction of the characters, you already kind of know what they're going to be about. 
he already know that, oh, I loved this part, that unlike Batman, where we have to see how Batman came about with the death of his parents, we did not have to see, Spider-Man has already been established over the last six months he's been swinging around, and he's already had his origin, and he kind of like just glosses over it, and he's like, ah, things happened, and uh, I now have spider powers. That was kind of cool because we already know it. We've already seen it in multiple movies. So Marvel's like, uh, we don't really need to say this again. Everybody already knows how Spider-Man came about. So that was really cool. Black, Black Panther is a lot more evolved. And I liked that we we established him from the beginning. That this man is a badass. And he's a king. He inherits when his father gets killed in the UN attack. That's blamed upon Winter Soldier. That focuses back on to bringing Winter Soldier into the Avengers world and Captain America's world. So Cap wants to protect Winter Soldier because he's being blamed. Throughout the course of the movie, you also get introduced to a brand new villain, and that's Baron Zemo. Now, he's only called Zemo, and they intertwine his origin with the Scarlet Witches. Also, you establish Scarlet Witch and Vision, which I love Vision in just a, um, like a sweater and casual clothes and there's his vision head that was great because that's the character and him trying to make wanda food and he's like how much is a pinch what exactly is a pinch because he's a robot and that was great you established their relationship you also like continued the relationship of like um hawkeye and black widow and they're they're uh, they were against each other but they were kind of sparring because they're like you know we're kind of still friends and you're very much involved in my family and the scarlet witch knows this she's like you're going soft on her you're you're taking this easy so she steps in then with the interaction of ant-man and his interaction of just being oh my god this is so amazing because this is a character that's tiny that gets really big at one point that he's like, oh, this is a little overwhelming. But when they introduce him, he's asleep in the back seat. So it's like, okay, you've already established he's kind of like the comedy relief of this. Loved the time that they spent on Falcon with more of his gadgets and Red Wing and just his interaction with Winter Soldier and being like, okay, I think it's kind of like, two best friends are from different parts of your life like one's from your earlier time of your life and one's from an older point and they move, meet and they're like well i'm his best friend no i'm his best friend so they kind of have this like casual exchange well i won't say it's casual this aggressive exchange with each other that was just beautifully done and at the end you find out that there's basically three main acts to this and at the end you comes down to baron zemo's master plan uh releases the information that captain america knew that tony stark's parents were killed by the winter soldier and tony stark's that kind of pisses them off and at the end of it make sure you stay through the entire movie because you are two two after credits or credits what, what, after one after credit one mid credit i don't know what they're called these days but you have that going on as well and this vlog's going really a lot longer than i was expecting but it's amazing it's such a great movie out of five paws i'm giving this a uh, 4.75 the only thing is it's it's two hours and 20 minutes long it's really long that's the only downside to it but it flew by and there was never a moment during this movie that i was like oh my god this is dragging unlike batman versus superman this was just beautifully shot, beautifully edited, wonderful script. That script was tight. It was tight, like virgin tight. It was so awesome. Loved it. So go out and see Captain America Winter Soldier in theaters right now. You, I mean, before it even hit the, open up in the United States, I already made, made like 20 million. It was insane. So go out there, have a wonderful movie Monday. And until next time, bye, couplets. I could count in the dark, I see you calling my name I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same Every weapon you are throwing right into my back Doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick Let me go Let me go Let me go